Hey, welcome back everyone. Dr. Alan McCord at Kent East Chiropractic and we're continuing our series of what's right for you. What care is right for you? And today we're going to be talking about healthier children. Uh, those of you who are parents, I think probably understand that the health of your child is probably incredibly, incredibly important to you. And I want to talk to you about uh, things that you can actually do to help your children be healthier and uh, dealing with their life. And as chiropractors, we look at the spine. Uh, and the reason we do is because it really protects the brain and spinal cord. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because one of the first and most detrimental things that can happen to your children is in the birth process. And you would suspect things, uh, traumatic things like um, forceps delivery or C-section to be pretty traumatic on the baby. And, but actually, according to Beck's Medical Obstetrical Text, which is a textbook that all OBGYNs study, doctors that deliver babies and guide uh, women through pregnancy, it shows pictures of a, a baby that's being born in a natural setting. And it shows a baby coming out where the head comes out and they torque the head one way, the baby's head one way pulled down to get the uh, upper shoulder out. Then when the upper shoulder's out, they torque the baby's head the other way and pull up to release the lower shoulder. In, in this textbook, they say for a normal natural childbirth, they can use actually up to 60 to 80 pounds of tractional force when delivering the baby. So if you think about a heavy suitcase of 60 to 80 pounds, that can be a traumatic force put into the baby's neck. Now, I gotta remember, for nine months, the baby's been bathed in water. It isn't having, isn't having to even dealt with, um, with gravity. And so the, the muscle system that supports the spine has not been developed. And so, yes, babies are more flexible. They have a lot more cartilage. They have fewer bones. And, and over their life, uh, up to 25, the bones fuse. And so they can handle uh, more traumatic stress. But if you think about 60 to 80 pounds and lifting a heavy suitcase and you're torquing it, is there, and that's in a normal natural childbirth, is there a potential that the baby could be um, uh, imbalanced and have a, what we call in chiropractic terms a subluxation, a vertebral subluxation, and be in the neck or anywhere else in the spine as well? They also found in a study uh, back a number of years ago that they found that 47% of one year olds, that's about half of us, have actually accidentally been dropped on our heads. So that's a pretty dramatic stress. And of course, if you're a parent and you drop a baby on its head, you're gonna be concerned about the brain and potential damage to the baby's skull and, and those kinds of things. Rarely do parents think about maybe what's happened in the neck because when you're dropping a baby on its head, the neck is gonna be influenced as well and that can cause a shift. They did a study back in 2014 and found that when they watched um, uh, toddlers uh, about a year and a half old, they found while playing for six hours a day, they would fall 15 times an hour. That's 90 times in a day or over a month, that's 2,500 times. And before our second birthday, we're potentially subjected to over 10,000 falls that can influence trauma into our spines, causing these shifts. And so every child should be checked chiropractically early on. Uh, it's not harmful for children to get their spines checked. We use lighter force in chiropractic realm than we would in a, in a full grown adult. And so some of the conditions and things that uh, some kids deal with that can be related back to their spines and getting their spine properly corrected could be vision problems. Their eyes, for example, skin conditions. Their sinuses have a reoccurrent sinus problems, weakness, poor concentration stomach problems, asthma, loss of hearing could be tied back to an upper cervical or upper neck subluxation, eye problems, we talked about that, poor coordination, nervousness, kids that are nervous and jittery, uh, poor posture can certainly be an indication that the spine shifted, uh, reoccurring sore throats, colic, which is where babies cry and cry and cry because their tummy hurts. Those, we have great studies that have shown that colicky babies are tremendously supported and helped by being under regular chiropractic care. And one of the great things too, is just as a side note, as I'm going through these, kids respond so quickly to chiropractic care because 
they're able to heal faster. And so we get really, really phenomenal results in helping people overcome some of these issues. Allergies, reoccurring allergies, food allergies, becoming very popular, gluten, all those things can actually be tied back to the nerve system because of the, the immune system being influenced by the nerve system. And if it's out of function, out of balance, it's gonna cause hypersensitivities. Uh, we mentioned uh, curvatures of the spine, scoliosis, irritability, croup, which is a deep cough, headaches or migraines that your children suffer for, uh, suffer from can be correlated back to the spine. Bedwetting, a lot of times, uh, particularly in boys, have a bigger challenge with this. That they can be three, four, five, six, seven, eight years of age, even older, and deal with bedwetting issues. And that can tie back to the sphincter in the bladder, which is the bottom valve that controls the, the urination effect, or micturition is what it's called scientifically. And that's controlled by nerves that come from the back. And so if the child has imbalances in the nerve system, it can tie back to having that kind of a situation, kind of a symptom. Fatigue, joint aches, hyperactivity. Boy, are we hearing a lot about ADD, ADHD uh, types of, of uh, issues going on. Those can be dramatically helped and supported. Those children can be helped and supported by getting them under regular chiropractic care. Of course, dealing with in the teenage years as well, uh, high school sports, playing sports, being uh, bicycle wrecks, skateboarding, uh, snowboarding, these kinds of things can also cause shifts of the spine that can manifest themselves in a whole bunch of other ways in the body that you may not think about could be related chiropractically. So if you're dealing with a child or your children have never been checked and you're, or you're dealing with a child that's, that's dealing with some kind of health issue, I would highly encourage you to bring them in, get them checked. We see a lot of children, all of my kids were checked within moments of getting being born. And, uh, and I, it just is a, an incredible thing. It's a great way to keep your, your health ongoing, helping you to live healthier in your 80s, 90s, and 100s, and doing it very, very well. So hope this addresses some of uh, support and help there for you. Again, continuing this series on what uh, care is right for you. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to our YouTube channel, which is Ask Dr. McCord. And uh, click on our website if you've never been on there to see more information that can help you, which is www.kenteastchiro.com. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day.